We get a vision of what the new heavens and the new earth will be like in Zechariah chapter 8. Uh, the prophet is talking about the most important characteristic of this new city is that God once again will dwell with his people and that that's going to make all the difference in every sphere of life. And so the prophet begins to talk about how the old uh, women and the old men will once again sit in the streets and there's such a sense of public safety. Uh, the kids, the boys and the girls are running and playing in the streets and there's a reconciliation between the generations. The, the old and the young, they want to be together. And the prophet talks about how in the former times uh, you didn't have any wages and your, and your beasts didn't have any food. But in this time when God returns, uh, you will have what you need. There'll be economic renewal as well. And uh, your work is gonna be productive. You're gonna produce surpluses. And you're gonna have to be able to share with, with one another. And then he talks about how there, there'll be also uh, ecological renewal. That once again, the, uh, the grains will grow and the earth will, will have rain and will have dew that you need. And the vineyards will produce wine. And so what we see in terms of the new heavens and the new earth is that every area of image bearing uh, will flourish once again as God comes to dwell with uh, his people and he completely renews our role as his image bearers in the world.